Foles. And past the 35, he'll be harder, too shy of the 30. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. And the Bears first down. Now Foles. The screen pass here to Cohen. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Foles pass. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down, Chicago. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And the Bears are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. First and goal from the six. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. The wide receiver, the ball carrier. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up Tackle second and goal. The and the ball smack it's dab on the five-yard line. Here's second, second and goal. And, goal. and Miller will pull this one in. He's got Bulls it for the Bears. Pass. Touchdown. To Anthony Miller. Touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Bears have taken the early lead. An ideal Chandler start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling good. his team, this is how Makes we prepare. The force the punt, go downfield and score. Nothing. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Now Catanzaro after the touchdown to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this the will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for the now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few tackle. times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully it's flip the field. And yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking line. for here. Now the second down throw on target. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. For us Seahawks. Here's Carson. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Carson. Brandon, we just saw the benefits the of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four on yards on that carry. So now six. if you're a play caller, you could do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble Wilson's a little bit. Pass. Now you're behind trying Carson. to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Yards to go. On third down, Wilson, he'll find Metcalf. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's fourth down. On fourth down, ready to punt, Michael Dixon. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. With the score, Bears seven, Seahawks nothing. Here's Michael, Michael Dixon, Dixon now to punt. To punt Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. Taking it about the 16. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Bears, the Bears take, take over. over. First and 10. At the and line, prepping for their next drive, line. the Bears offense. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking Bulls about pass. taking an early advantage. Complete Being the road Darnell team, Mooney. going up a score, that a takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their four. opponents. At the 23-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Foles. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the Foles 35. Pass. Give Complete him 14 on Miller. that one and a first down. A of 14. First down, Bears. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He'll rifle this one deep right side. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Here's Foles throwing complete to Miller. Foles and at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Miller. They get six. Again, That'll six leave them yards. with third and four. And they face a third and four down. after that last completion gets them six. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Foles. And that is incomplete. Foles pass. Intended for and that's a good Miller. bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down third permitted down. and then out. Obviously Ryan no loss of confidence with that defense. Formation. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. 36 yards on the punt Time with no return. And it'll be Seahawk football Seahawks first, and, first 10. and 10. Coming to the and line here to begin their next drive, line. the Seahawks offense. It hasn't gone particularly well for them, that's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, he was taken down finding a way to make sure your playmakers He's touch the ball five. without Brings it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Line. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. 15 yards on the play, first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. They run it with Carson. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Carson. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. This is Carson fighting through. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes That's it just good. across Four midfield. Seahawks. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Right back to him on first down. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. another Seahawks. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. 35-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold. Hold on to that Intended one. It's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five Please wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and ten now, Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Wilson's pass. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. And he's got Lockett. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he was hit as he threw it there, Wilson's and it forces pass. it incomplete. To this point, incomplete. I've been impressed with the work defensively. Brings they have not allowed a lot of receivers can. to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. And it's caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am going ahead and tapping out the first half. There's still time. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bears offense ready to get going again. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, you string them together, could get into field goal range. Let's see what happens. Yeah, oh, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Go, go, go. Ball on the 30. They'll five. come up with Brings a second, second and five. And five at the 30-yard line. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. So we've reached halftime here on half. opening weekend as we send you cross time. country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the... All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. Michael Dixon to kick off. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed the up that will give them an advantage to move He's the ball downfield? Let's find out line. what they have dialed up. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. David Montgomery. That the one, a first here. down pickup of eight. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second and down run. Pickup. And at that yardage and game, the they can run that play on down. any down. Now a play fake here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket, and he fires one incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there, but it's going to be second down. Incomplete. It's now second. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down, and this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. On the keeper, Jamal Adams there on the tackle. A nine-yard gain on the play. And it's third They'll down. run it. Here's Montgomery. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. David Montgomery, the ball carrier. DJ Coming in, he really Reed liked his chance tackle. of having a big year based on a, a terrific offseason. And runs like that first on opening down, weekend. Chicago. Show that he's right. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Defense. They're killing us here. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Flushed out right, he'll run it. He turned that into a nice Holes game, gets him eight keeper. yards closer for third down. He was taken down by Bobby Wagner. It's a gain of eight, and it brings up... Third They'll try down. to run for it with Cohen. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe Tariq by about Cohen a yard, if that. He needed two, he, he got one, and that's going to leave Wagner. him with fourth down at a yard. A a yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. They're going to look to throw. Open middle. Oh, Miller, he's got what? it. And he takes oh, this man. one in Complete for a to Bears Anthony touchdown. Miller. Touchdown, Chicago. Anthony Miller already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Bears have taken the lead. It took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that. They got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Now Cat and Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. 
fielded just outside the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Now it's Carson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Going to give this time to the tailback. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he'll get yards. this down to the 39-yard line. 15 first more there, down. and they're on a roll. It's another first, first down. At the 39-yard line. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Flush to his right, and now he's going to use his legs. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Brings up second and five. Now it's Wilson throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Wilson's pass. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Dancing to his left. And that's complete to Swain. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Offense. Oh, why are we doing this? So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, fourth coming. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. The catch made by Miller. And he will have the Bears oh, first down as they're able to get Anthony the third Miller. down conversion. It's a gain of 17 yards. Back first now in Bears. Seattle, Washington. Well, some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Now back to throw. He'll find Miller. That's complete. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Complete to Anthony Miller. Another nice pick up through the, the air, and I think a lot of people and might expect them to run the ball down. in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Running for it, Montgomery. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes Montgomery it down to the 16. The and the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. The fourth down up. run and successful. The now they look to pay down. it off on first down. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. 
And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Cohen, the ball a carrier. solid pickup of 12 the yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Line. Getting toward First the middle of the fourth quarter, and with that lead, line. they love runs like that. And don't we spend a lot of time looking at the timeout situation? And Bring it! Into the end zone, touchdown Bears! Touchdown, A three-yard touchdown run. And the Bears will add on to their lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in Chandler concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying point. up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the Makes big the move towards the end zone. 21. The point after Seahawks threw the raindrops seven. up and good, and it's now 21-7. to seven. Now Catton Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep, and this the will Seahawks not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks let offense. Know. Let them know, let them know. 45, 45, 45. On first and 10, it's Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Throwing middle, but it's Wilson's incomplete. Pass. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf. Metcalf. That'll bring up second incomplete. down. It leads to second and ten. To throw again, Wilson. And he'll go down. The Bears get there Russell for the Wilson sack. The sack. That's sacked by, by Khalil, Khalil Mack. Mack. Remember, no, throughout my career here, defensive coaches play. always say, Brings guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. From the gun, it's Wilson. That one to Swain complete. Wilson's and they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. So they come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none? Yes, exactly right. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. On second down, it's Montgomery. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here's Foles. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Holding offense. We're all right. Just call the call. We're going to play. Come on now. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now Foles. He completes this into the hands of Miller. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Second and 12, and you have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. 
Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And down inside the 15 he goes. Call it a gain of 11 yards, and that should just about do it. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10. At the so after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. This will be caught at about the five. Foles pass. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Call it a gain of 11 yards, and that should just about do it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Darnell Mooney, the target there. But it'll be second and goal. Brings up second and goal. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. touchdown. David Montgomery, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. As the Bears push further out in front. Chandler Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't, because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is 